so all the audiences uh, now we would be showing you the real demo like a lot of things record sir has mentioned the modulation schemes uh, that has evolved from 3g 4g 5g 6g so that kind of modulation how it uh, it is being transmitted and decoded uh, it is decoded uh, uh, so that kind of constellation uh, we would be seeing and uh, we would be seeing the real ue uh, that is running in a software uh, and uh, the similar thing we would be running on the uh, network side the e node b and the uh, core network that is also running in a software on a laptop and all the things are communicating uh, uh, to each other uh, like uh, mobile and the network they have to communicate over radio interface right so we we are having the radio card for that so uh, mr nitin jain is here to demonstrate all the things he is also iit uh, iit delhi uh, alumni and he is quite senior to me he has worked with uh, uh, like we two both of us has worked in saskan communication and saskan used to be a dream company for all the iitians at one point of time and after that he has worked with many mncs inter, including intel so right now we are working together to uh, make uh, all this 5g 6g or like 4g all these things how we can make easier to uh, like knowledgeable uh, for all the learners so that they can learn and they can uh, develop they can participate even in the standardization if we talk about 5g and 6g and they can also be able to uh, make the use cases that is the vision of government of india uh, prime minister narendra modi that we have to be leader in 6g so we are like trying to work hard to towards that side so uh, over to nitin jain sir uh, please uh, take over you can and it would be like taking 20 minutes uh, but it would be quite interesting for all of you uh, kindly uh, pay attention and you will learn a lot of things thank you so much over to you nitin jain sir hello can you hear me uh, yes sir we can hear you yeah thank you thank you uh, first i would like to thank uh, uh, mr venkat uh, thanks a lot venkat uh, you may remember me uh, we have we, we used to be uh, at one time working for the same organization so yeah thanks a lot it was quite informative and uh, uh, thanks a lot uh, uh, koshal for giving the uh, introduction so uh, let me share my uh, so ppt uh, i am just going to share it now Uh, is my desktop visible? Yes, yes sir, sir, it's visible. Okay, so good afternoon. Uh, yeah, so basically, uh, we'll be giving a very simple uh, but very useful uh, uh, capability demo. so somebody uh, in the students community asked about that uh, how can companies uh, hire uh, students freshers uh, uh, to 5g and uh, to work on 5g and uh, possible in future 6g projects so as uh, venkat uh, uh, told mentioned that you need to be up to date you need to have skills so uh, i am actually going to give you a uh, overview of a top level overview of and uh, capability demonstration of a setup uh, where you actually you can do that uh, literally yourself I mean, you can literally learn lot of things related to 4g 5g the skill sets uh, which you, which will be make you directly useful uh, for the industry okay so i will keep the things very very simple so i i, I think uh, the, this this block diagram is a very high level uh, layman type where uh, this is like a 4g onwards similar type of uh, uh, system will be there so we know that uh, the towers generally many people call them towers but they are basically the uh, in technical language they are called emb for 4g 
in 5G, they are called GNB. So these are the various uh, RAN access network, then uh, part of the RAN access network. Then we have got a core network, which takes care of the mobility, connecting to the public internet and taking care of all the mobility and uh, uh, movement from one uh, geographical location to another location. So this is more like a management and uh, connectivity, mobility uh, uh, network. This one is the actual uh, uh, part of the actual network, uh, radio access network, which basically uh, does all the uh, hard work. And then uh, we know that these are the uh, these are the mobiles we use it, or it can be a simple mobile. Uh, 4G, 5G mobile, or it can be any other uh, any other system which is having a uh, similar type of uh, uh, 4G, 5G receive and transmit capability. Okay, so th this is at very high level. That's how a cellular system looks like. Uh, it, it's the simplest. Uh, I have shown it. So uh, any particular doubts? I have not mentioned uh, these terms. Uh, uh, this is session gateway. Uh, then this is packet gateway. This is mobile management. And this is, I think, home. Uh, HSS is some home. Uh, basically home, database. Home, home subscriber. Uh, Sub system. Subscriber, system. yeah. Right, so this is also called EPC. So we have got three terms, EPC, E node P, UE, right? So these are the three actors in, of, uh, in the whole 4G, 5G. Yeah, so the uh, demo setup, which I'm going to show you after some time, uh, it will just uh, demonstrate uh, capability of a whole private 4G, 5G network using customized open source software suites along with the uh, generalized software defined radios so this setup which i am going to show you are highly configurable and uh, uh, they they allow actually multiple 4g 5g test and use cases uh, and uh, can be also ported and customized to different computing configuration that means uh, they this this uh, uh, will run on uh, general purpose our laptops and uh, you can either have a uh, not so powerful maybe i5 uh, machine you can have intel i5 or you can have i7 you can have i9 depending upon the computing configuration you will get that much throughput okay so uh, this is all this you will find that it is in uh, this configuration are actually part of a uh, box network in a box type of settings. What it means is that core network plus RAN are together. That means uh, going back to this simple uh, picture, this particular part, as well as this particular part, uh, the oh, of course, the simpler version of this part are actually are together. In general, they will be connected by some uh, connection uh, mechanism by cloud or by uh, some microwave, but in this case, they will be together. So uh, the computing environment, which uh, the play, uh, OS, which I'm going to use is basically a Ubuntu 22.04. Uh, it has got various packages. Again, all of them are uh, mostly uh, open source. And then of course, there is some uh, customizations. Then uh, I'm going to show you a band three configuration. That band three configuration in uh, for uh, for GLD is basically in 1800 range. Exact, I think 1847 also. Uh, but but we can have any frequency between 47 megahertz to 6 gigahertz. And I'm going to use a Quartz mobile. Okay, so this is to give you an idea of, uh, I, I think 
all of most of you come uh, uh, in this category as student and enthusiast and uh, so what is that you can do with this setup which i'm going to show you is that you can actually uh, create a 4g 5g link uh, uh, using high end laptops desktops along with specialized special purpose uh, radio cards right you can actually do a real mobile attach to network uh, you can actually connect your own 4g 5g mobile whatever you might be having or you might you can actually connect to this network a uh, basically a uh, any drone camera any device which is having 4g or 5g capability okay so uh, what you can actually do a lot of experiments by uh, for various component in physical layer so as uh, uh, communication engineers particularly who are uh, st students who are actually in a uh, electronics and communication uh, uh, there, there are a lot of uh, uh, lot of com components so uh, physical layer algorithms modules features uh, then there is a wireless feeding channel. Then there is a noise in the system. You can do a lot of experiment uh, by uh, tinkering those modules, rewriting those modules, uh, adding new features, uh, changing the uh, noise, increasing the noise, and check how the system looks like, how the constellation looks like. Then uh, if, if you are interested in the higher layers, you can actually uh, you can create a Mac scheduler for various use cases and uh, scenarios. Uh, uh, this is this is Mac scheduler is a very important uh, um, and it's generally a proprietary uh, uh, component of any company. Uh, that one you can actually create. Uh, same you can also do a lot of uh, ads lot of features related to the l3 l3 is rrc pdcp and then you can also do you can add features in the core network also which is called epc now the interesting part is that whatever all these things you can do you can uh, if you use ota over the air then of course you can connect to a real mobile right but uh, suppose you don't have a uh, radio uh, radio card uh, you can actually uh, do a lot of uh, software loopback uh, also uh, you can basically create you can have a e node b in the software and you can as well as have a uh, ue also in the software and you can actually pretty much communicate between uh, e node b and uh, mobile in IPC or in network setup. This is a very, uh, very useful uh, feature. Uh, you can actually uh, debug, uh, you can have various debug modes, you can collect the measurements, you can check what is going on in the protocol stack side. Uh, there are tools like Wireshark, which you can, uh, using that you can connect to the, uh, the uh, basically logs uh, or you can analyze the different logs in various other platforms uh, like softwares like MATLAB or any other uh, something written in Python. So uh, these are this is the list of the image. This is just some list of uh, uh, things which you can pick up by this setup. You can uh, uh, do a lot of things related to the digital wireless communication, RF engineering, various, there are so many protocols. The uh, cellular communication protocols and signal is, is extremely uh, getting complex, more complex. Uh, you can learn all those things. And uh, uh, these are the, all these things are very, very useful skill sets for the industry. Uh, network security, network to when you will have a live network uh, actual network uh, uh, then lot of measurements will be there how to analyze that 
how to tune the uh, network. These are all uh, come as part of these things. You can actually integrate it to the various for multiple use cases. So just to sum it up, whatever you can do with this type of setups, it is actually closest to working in an industrial commercial cellular network. I would not say that it is exactly same. This is the closest you can get. And this is this good, good news is that you can actually, if you have this type of setup, you can do it yourself. OK, so uh, just let me uh, uh, come back and uh, switch on my Just a minute. You are able to see some video? Yes, sir. We can see uh, uh, your uh, capture through mobile. OK, sure. Yeah, so again, I have broken it in a very, very simple terms. So, OK, so here is what we, we already know. There are three actors, right? We know that. Uh, uh, we know that, OK, uh, I'm showing the first, the simpler one. Uh, we know there is E node B, EPC, right? and UV, right? So and then uh, internet connectivity, right? So uh, and then in between, this is the radio front end radio card okay and uh, as far as the uh, ue mobile is concerned the this type of radio front end is already there uh, inside the mobile itself right that you know so this is like a uh, setup now i'm i'm going to show that uh, this is exactly the same setup i am having Right. So this is this is how it looks like. So uh, I am running EPC plus E node B on a, uh, a laptop machine in Ubuntu OS. Then uh, the radio card, right, radio front end, is connected to this uh, software part through USB 3.0, right, and uh, it is through antenna. It is getting transmitted and received. Right, and then uh, uh, on the UE side, uh, I'm showing it that uh, we have either got a uh, mobile. When I say ports, it means commercial of the shelf. That means our usual 4G or 5G mobile. Right, uh, every one of us is having this this mobile, or we can have uh, a a LTE or a 5G modem which is having a capability of similar to the mobile, but it does not have maybe the display, but it's like a full fledged 4G or 5G mobile. It also has, you know, that SIM card. Similarly, uh, this mobile, whatever we are having, it is having a uh, SIM. We know that uh, we need a SIM. Right? So this is the setup. So uh, now I'm going to show you just just in the picture uh, so e node p plus epc is there is running on this laptop right then uh, the radio part the radio board is this one and uh, this is connected to this through a uh, usb 3.0 uh, this, these are the antenna, 
Tx as well as Rx. This is I am showing single simple one antenna system, uh, and then I am having a uh, 4G mobile. Now I am going to show you exactly the same thing, the setup which I am having. So this is the machine on which I am going to run uh, e, uh, a basic EPC and uh, E-Node B, right? This is the machine. Then uh, through this uh, through this USB 3, I am connected it to the a radio, right? This is the specialized uh, radio board in a casing. And then uh, this is the transmit antenna this is the transmit antenna that means from uh, e node b to the mobile and then this is the the one which i am pointing with is the receive antenna that means to receive uh, rf signal from mobile to the uh, e node b right so this is this this is the setup so any doubt about it this is this is like very very simple that right, right? So any particular doubts you have till now? Hello? Right. And uh, this is the mobile. This is the 4G mobile. This is the 4G mobile. You, I will show you. At present, it is in aeroplane mode, so there is no RF connectivity. Right. I am already. Uh, actually already have kept uh, uh, a 4G video in YouTube. Are you able to see it? Right. So at present, it is not going to run. Running is there probably. So I can take it further and then you can see that Uh, at present, it is not running. Right now, uh, I am going to start freshly. You are able to see it, right? Yes, sir. Uh, my terminal. Yeah, yes, sir. Terminal. Yeah, can... yeah. yeah, it's visible. So I am going to. Right. Thank you. So I am going to. Sir, your screen is not visible and you're not audible. Hello? Yeah, yes, sir. You are back. Yeah. So we can see. Okay. Okay. So I am just going to start everything from beginning. Okay. So, so this is the, uh, you can see that uh, I actually took out uh, uh, this. Uh, radio card from the USB 3 uh, interface. Okay. Now I'm going to connect it. So now it is powered. The radio card is getting powered from the USB 3.0 interface itself. Correct. Now it is on. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to run EPC. So, okay, that is the first thing. Yeah, yes sir. Right. So you can see that uh, these are the uh, packet gateway, all that are getting initialized. Now, next thing I'm going to run is the E node B. So I'm going, I have configured for 50 RB.
okay so you can see that it is transmitting at 1842.25 sir focus and, on uh, the sir please focus on your laptop please yes. yeah and then uh, rx frequency is uh, 1747.5 mm -hmm. uh, this is the one gui window which is showing the uh, uplink side that means from uh, mobile to the uh, whatever signal is sent from mobile channel is sent from mobile to the uh, e node b those are the equalized symbol this is a data channel uplink data channel this is a control channel this is the channel response magnitude okay so now uh, now the e node b is up you can see that uh, one led is blinking it means that it is transmitting Uh, but but this is still not running, right? You are offline. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to remove it uh, from the aeroplane mode. I'm going to uh, you can see that now it is connected to 4G. Let me show you. I have already put some. Uh, specialized uh, sim card here this is not a general sim this is a uh, test sim which has been written uh, with certain uh, uh, information which is there in the e node database So it is already connected to the uh, 4G. Now I'm going to start this. So you can see that and now you can see on the screen this is how the channel looks like. This is the control part. And uh, uh, this is the, the 4QAM uh, constellation. This is quite noisy at present. Basically, uh, this is on the uplink side. So here you can see that it shows user 0.46 connected. This is on the e, e node B side. This is the uh, ratch. Ratch uh, e node B has received the uh, ratch, and uh, that this is how it detected it. On the core network side, you can see that uh, information is there. This is happening at various level, higher layers level, NAS level, radio bearers, all the authentication, everything is there, right? And you can see that, uh, you can also see that uh, the IMSI information has been uh, communicated, uh, authenticated. And then uh, you can see that uh, allocated IP, uh, so can you please share your screen door. so people can able to see the code properly? Uh, is the screen not shared? Share. Okay. It is coming. I I am able to see. Uh, Apur, are you sure that uh, you are not able? To... Sir, it is coming. You have to just focus it properly. Oh, sir, uh, like sir, if are sir, you able to see now? I I am able to see your laptop, uh, not the laptop screen. So laptop screen, you have to focus. Camera has to be focused on laptop screen. Uh, but okay. are you not able to see this screen? Uh, no, sir. Like, uh, sir, if sir can share the screen, so, so the code will be uh, visible clearly. Uh, okay. Okay. I thought I was already shared. I think it has got unselected. Wait a minute. Uh, I don't know. For some reason, I think the unsharing happens. 
now you are able to see it yeah sir it's visible yes, clearly yeah so this is the view in the uh, core network side and then this is the view on the e node b side now i can show you some more logs and see that down link side up link side uh, bit rate right since some buffering has happened already so this is what it is showing uh, i can of course uh, uh, in between you will see some this thing i can start one uh, i perf session just give me a moment so that i, I can show you so uh, what i have done is that i am going to start one iperf server here on the mobile side For some reason, this this is an old mobile. I cannot see that. Uh, I wanted to show actually the downlink side uh, thing. So I have already started one IPR server. So now I am going to uh, ping, send some data. So the IP address is, uh, you can see uh, 172.16.0.2. So I am going to send a, a 10 megabit per second. You can see that uh, I'm getting 10.5, right? And uh, now you can see that uh, basically this is the uplink side. You can see uh, in between 16 to m, right? This is happening now uh, since acknowledgement for the downlink transmissions are being sent in the uplink. So uh, that information is going sometimes as part of USA, sometimes as part of UCCH. So you can see that 10.5 is running and then at the same time uplink. I mean, I can still run a, a YouTube also.
so you can see that uh, i am sending a separate 10.5 here which is just coming to the uh, mobile as well as uh, through youtube also i am getting some data from the e node b so basically in, uh, internet packets right so you can see that uh, this this basically shows the uh, number of sub carriers so for 50 rb we have got approximately 600 uh, resource elements so this is what it is showing you can see sometimes it is 4 psk or sometimes it is uh, 16 qm and then uh, this is one aspect uh, then uh, uh, i can also show you now you can also see uh, say you can see that uh, Uh, you are able to see, right? I am sending in downlink ten ten megabit per second plus some uh, uh, data rate for the uh, YouTube video. So you can see that bit rate. Uh, it also shows some blur. Then uh, uh, it shows RNTI forty seven. RNTI is the uh, UE RNTI. It's, it's identity of the UE mobile. Uh, then PCI. PCI is the cell ID. you can also see that uh, uh, what has happened is that in between the disconnection uh, it has got disconnected right but it got uh, again connected say now the it has become user for a earlier it was for 8 right so you can see that uh, uh, depending upon youtube buffering uh, now the data rate has also increased uplink also some data rate is there because acknowledgement for downlinks are going in the uplink i can actually start some data uh, i perf from the mobile uh, yeah but i think that uh, you get the point so uh, this is one uh, thing which i have shown so uh, one thing you can see that uh, here i am using quotes ui commercial ui but uh, we can have uh, we can have a uh, you are able to see my desktop the ppt Yes, sir. We can. Yeah, we are seeing your PPT yeah. now. Yeah. So uh, this is another setup uh, where the E node B is running in the software and it is connected to a uh, radio card through USB. Uh, if uh, I can actually have the UE implementation in software itself, so this is that type of setup. So the UE itself, instead of uh, a uh, normal uh, commercial mobile i can have the same uh, mobile uh, side implementation in the ue side in the software which is running in the ubuntu in a, uh, this can be a uh, basically this is running in the in the inside the uh, uh, our computing machine and then uh, same thing is connected to the another radio card similar type of card let me show you uh, and then through a cable it, uh, both are connected so this is another uh, setup which is possible so uh, this is what it is there 
I, I, I can actually run this, this setup also. So, uh, question. Uh, yes, sir. Shall I uh, show this setup also? Uh, I think uh, uh, you have given very good sense uh, about the complete setup. Uh, I think uh, uh, seeing the interest of time, we can stop here. I think uh, you have given very good information um, uh, about the complete uh, network setup. So now people can feel that they not only uh, own a mobile, instead they can own a network, how it is connected to the internet. So uh, I think, sir, that is that should be uh, good. Uh, yeah, so I just want to add here that uh, uh, as such, uh, uh, it, it's not so simplistic to say that uh, uh, we can have this uh, radio card uh, and we can transmit any power. Uh, there are legal restrictions from a DOT side. So uh, we should not transmit uh, too much power, otherwise it, it will interfere with the uh, in the uh, neighbor, neighboring uh, uh, 4G, 5G signals. So one has to be very careful and one has to keep this in mind, this uh, legal thing. So, uh, any questions? Uh, just wanted to show these things uh, here. Any questions? Uh, yes, sir. I think there are two questions. One is from Aditya Yadav. Uh, sir, which program you are using in your laptop? Okay. So, basically, whatever I'm using is actually, uh, there are multiple open source packages are there. And then we have done some customization on top of that. So uh, yeah, we can share that information. If you do a uh, Google search, you will find that there are a uh, few popular uh, co co code bases are there, which are basically implement uh, eNode B and UE in the software. Uh, one is called uh, Open Air Interface 5G. Another is called SRS. These are two most uh, popular core basis. And uh, not just that, there are then uh, other packages are there, which are part of that installations. Thank you, sir. And another one is, is it like FS key? That is frequency shift key. Uh, not really, say 4G or 5G. They basically use uh, OFDM. It's a multi-carrier, specialized uh, uh, multi-carrier uh, system. Multi-carrier means uh, multi, uh, there are multiple uh, sub-carriers which are spaced at a particular spacing. So whatever uh, uh, constellation, whatever modulation schemes are there, those are like uh, basically uh, whatever has been specified by the 4G, 5G standard, typically QPSK, QAM, uh, 16 QAM, uh, 256 QAM, uh, yes. So the short answer is uh, QPSK type, QPSK, QAM, various constellation of different sizes. Thank you so much, sir, for answering the questions. And I believe almost all the questions are done. And uh, so I would like to especially thanks Nitin, sir, and Venkatesha, sir, for taking out their valuable time for the webinar. And also to all the attendees for attending the session. And hope you have learned significant points about these technologies. So I think we will meet you again on our next webinar. That is next Saturday, 16 December at 11 AM, with a new topic, 5G present status versus opportunities for India. And hope you all have a great day. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Venkat sir thank and Nitin sir for your time. And thank you all the audiences who stayed back uh, 
uh, after like uh, passing the uh, the planned time uh, they have been uh, like staying here for more than one extra one hour so thank you so much for your patience and i hope that uh, the time you have devoted uh, you would have got a return very good return uh, for that so thank you so much have a nice uh, have a nice time uh, okay bye bye okay bye. thank you thank you koshal and thank you everyone